everyone, and welcome back. This is Mindy Egan for Tailored Expressions. And today I am excited to share with you how I created four months out of my handcrafted calendar kit. These are such a great and unique gift set, and I'm definitely going to be picking up more so I can make more to pass out to my family. So here's just a quick look at the calendar kit. You're getting 12 stencils, 12 months, you have two stamp sets, one of which has a coordinating die. And some of the other supplies that I'll be using is the sugar cube cardstock. I have some Oreo cardstock, a small block, post-it tape, embossing powder, Versamark ink, and a tape runner. And of course my tweezers, because I do not craft without them. And then also an anti-static powder tool. Some of the inks I will be using today is Blue Raspberry, Lavender Glaze, Strawberry Milkshake, Lollipop, Cilantro, and Granny Smith. And then I also have a Blueberry Gumball, and I also will be using Oreo ink. Some of the stamp sets I'll be using is Brighter Skies and Gus and Gertie. And of course, I'll be using my blender brushes today. So here's just a quick look at the calendar. So you have one for every month and something I discovered later on in the video is that the month is also on the back of these calendars. So in case you drop them or get them mixed up, you always know what month it is because they're on the back. Then you have the 12 stencils that coordinate for each month. So you have snowflakes for January, hearts, some fun triangles, raindrops, flowers, a unique rainbow design. There is also some stars. We have uh, some pattern. I believe this is like a leaf type of pattern. Some more patterns you can mix and match. There are bats here, Christmas trees, leaves, or you could even grab some from your own stash too. But these are all included in the kit. You also have a stamp set here with all the months on it. This is actually called Group Text Months. And then we also have the coordinating die to die cut these out in one quick pass. And there's also a mini stamp set in here so you can personalize your calendar, which I'll be doing for mine. So I am working on my Tailored Expressions desktop pad here just to catch any excess ink. I'm starting with January and I'm using Blue Raspberry and Lavender Glaze. Now, a couple things I noticed is I want to make sure I kind of have um, a mask down at the bottom and at the top so I don't get any excess ink on my calendar. And I'll be two-toning all of mine. So I'm creating four months in my video today, starting with the light purple I thought would be a really nice combination for January. So I just added a little bit throughout the middle, and then I'll bring in the blue raspberry and blend the rest of those snowflakes. You can see I brought in that second piece of paper. I should have held it down with some post-it tape. I did get some excess ink up there, but that's okay because the wooden piece that we'll be hanging our calendars from actually kind of covers up any ink that I kind of accidentally got up on top. So just blending on these two colors with my blending brushes. Then I can remove my post-it tape that was holding that down. And I have this beautiful wintry color combination. So easy as a one, two, three when creating these calendars. So simple, but so pretty. Then moving on to February, I am holding my stencil in place with the post-it tape. I'll be using strawberry milkshake and lollipop for these hearts. So you can really apply your ink in any way that you want. You could also, if you wanted to bring in a type of medium, if you wanted to add sparkle to these, whether it's with a sparkle spray or any type of glitter gel would be beautiful on these hearts. I just kept mine kind of really clean and simple because I'm going to decorate it a little bit with some images out of the Tailored Expressions stamp collection. So this is where I noticed that the months are on the back of the paper, which I think is super handy because I was really scared I was going to get my months mixed up. So love that a little, little addition that they put on there. Then I'm using my two greens here, Granny Smith and Cilantro for the triangles. This is going to be March. So I'm trying to keep the same colors for what March would represent. So for me, that's St. Patrick's Day. So I tried to keep these in the different uh, shades of green. 
And then gumball and blueberry, I'm going to do the raindrops in. Once again, just kind of blocking off my areas so I don't get any excess ink on the rest of my calendar. And just adding these two different shades of blue. After I have all of my panels ink blended, which went super quick, I'm going to stamp my months on here. And I'll be using my Misty tool to do that. You want to make sure you remove the foam insert from your Misty tool because the Group Text Months stamp set is a foam mounted stamp. So I removed that foam from my Misty, laid down my Oreo cardstock and my stamp set, and then picked it up with the door of my Misty. I am using the Misty 2.0. Then I'm going to prep my cardstock with an anti static powder tool and use a Versamark ink, which is just a really good clear, sticky ink. You want to make sure you are getting those little boxes on the stamp set. You want to make sure that you're inking those up. That's what's going to make die cutting this super easy. After I've pushed down really hard and gotten a good clean impression, I'm going to sprinkle on the white embossing powder. You make sure you're sprinkling it on those little boxes. And then after my heat gun is nice and hot, I'll just melt that embossing powder. And then I'm taking the coordinating die and I'm using those registration boxes, lining them up with the die, hold it in place with the post-it tape and run it through the die cut machine. So that's making sure all of these are lined up and die cut perfectly. And I just used a black card stock because it would just be consistent throughout all of my months. Off screen, I stamped some images and did my Copic coloring. So for this one, I used Gus and Gertie Holiday Adventures. I thought this was such a super cute stamp set and it colored up really quick because there isn't a lot to color in being it's a snowman and the white dog. So I'm attaching these to my calendar with some foam squares and they made such a great addition and a great starter page for my calendar. How adorable is that? <laughs> Now I'm bringing in this smaller stamp set and we have a birthday in January. My husband's birthday is in January. So I am going to use this little cupcake and I'm going to stamp it in a coordinating color that I used on my stencil. So this is the blue raspberry and I'm just going to use a small block to stamp that down on the birthday. So I love that I can add different things to this. Now for February. I brought in a rainbow that I colored off screen. I didn't do a lot of shading to it. I kept it really simple, but I did color it in the pinks and reds. That is off of the Brighter Skies stamp set. And I'm adding that to my calendar with a tape runner and then popping on my month. Now, February, we also have another birthday in our household in February. So I'm going to use that cupcake again with the lollipop ink. I'm going to stamp that down on the day of the birthday and Valentine's Day is there. So I'm going to use another image off of that small stamp set and stamp that in another color of ink. Now for March, I used the rain boots, the, yeah, rain boots, and I colored them in kind of leprechaun colors because I loved that rainbow popping out of them. So super cute. This Brighter Sky stamp set really worked well for a lot of my calendar pages. And since there's March, I'm going to use a little coffee cup for my March for St. Patrick's Day. And then for April, I have this cute little rain cloud and I colored the hearts in rainbow colors. And I thought that just looked really cute with my raindrops. Coordinates so great. And then just popping that up with some foam squares. Now also in this calendar kit, you're going to get these wooden blocks. So these have magnets in the inside to help keep it together and your paper is going to go in the inside of this. So you just take one of those pieces. You also have the holes at the bottom. So we're going to string something through there to help hang it up. I'll show you that in just a moment. So I am lining up kind of centering my paper there. I want to make sure it is in those magnets so it holds it together or holds it really well when it's hanging up. And then I'm just going to slide my piece on there and my top piece and the magnets will connect. So that'll That'll hold our paper in there. Now we have these holes in the top and the bottom, and there is some cord in the kit that you can use to hang up your calendar. Now, funny story, when I was opening my package from Tailored Expressions, I cut my cord and it's 
an amazing cord. It's so super soft. So I had to dig through my stash and find something else that I had that would work for this. You could also use if you have twine or a skinny ribbon, you could use that too. Just some other ideas in case you accidentally cut yours like I did. So once I kind of feed those through the holes at the bottom, I'm going to pull my cord up at the top there and I'm just going to tie a little knot at the top. You could also do a bow if you're using some ribbon and that will hang on a nail or if you want to clip it to a board would be super cute. So while you get everything you need in the kit to decorate your calendar, I just wanted to show you that you can use stamp sets in your collection to really dress these up and personalize it and make it your own. So I hope these have inspired you and gave you some great ideas. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again soon.